I do have a dilemma. My wife got weight loss surgery and she thinks she's fine enough to divorce me. I told her to calm down. She's moved on with our male friend. I've got hoes too, but why does she do this to me? Help. This happens to be one in many cases like this in which women get weight loss surgery and instantly want to leave their marriages. I'll be sharing the story of a man's experience with this type of case and also the reason why they do this on this video. Stay tuned. The hypergamy mindset in women that makes them want a man of higher status or riches than they are is not limited to just money or wealth. Allow me to paint a scenario here. If a woman was working in McDonald's and she has a husband working construction jobs and earning higher than her, this husband takes care of absolutely everything. He caters for her, he spends on her, he provides for her. But then she gets another job, a remote job, where she starts earning almost equally to what her husband is earning. This part is true for almost every woman out there, by the way, especially these modern women. She will start having doubts about the relationship. Soon, she will start chatting with wealthier men, like engineers or CEOs. This is just the mindset that society has instilled in these women. When most of them get a new job or a good gig or something, they see their husband who still probably earns better as a lowlife and start looking for richer men. That's hypergamy. But this does not only happen in cases involving money or wealth. Some women are only with their partners currently because they believe they can't pull higher value men or the type of men they want. So when some of these women go through these surgeries to give them more ass or boobs or change their faces or something else, they believe they are now too attractive for their current partners and want to leave. This case is particularly very common, and I read a man's experience regarding his wife's weight loss surgery and how she changed after. They were married 17 years already. She was already fat at the time they wedded, but then she kept gaining and gaining weight until it reached the stage of obesity. She had to get gastric bypass surgery, lost a ton of weight, and suddenly she rediscovered her inner university party girl. She started going out more often, getting drunk way too often and staying out late. The husband himself was a more reserved person who preferred coming home immediately after work and spending quality time with his family. The woman was always home before she had the surgery and the family was always complete, everyone happy, and the relationship fully functioning. But now that she has lost weight and had a better stature, she would leave the kids with her husband and go out. She started having affairs, and it took some years before the man finally caught her. She was unremorseful and told him she's been fed up with him for some time now and wants to leave. She filed for divorce and left him. She didn't even care to fight for the kids' custody. Surprisingly, she just wanted to be free. She wanted to live her 20s again without being fat this time, so she left her husband and her kids and rode off into the sunset. When these women lose weight, they grow the mindset of, hey, I'm hotter now and I need to upgrade from the man who accepted me when I was lesser. A confirmed statistic said that 85% of married obese people who had gastric bypass surgery, that is the weight loss surgery, end up leaving their spouses within two years of surgery. I've seen some women say the reason for this statistic is because of the stress and lifestyle changes that go through after losing the weight. But trust women to blame everything rather than hold themselves accountable. These obese modern women get a bit higher self-esteem after this surgery and start going out more and more. And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. But it is like they have been starving of attention. And when they meet new men, they automatically want them. And when one finally gives them attention back, they jump on his ship and sail away. That man's story particularly touched me, and I followed it for a while, because he was the type of man who invested so much in his wife and family. He worked so hard and spent so little on himself. He narrated how he knew about his ex-wife's low self-esteem and how he kept buying her pretty things to let her know she is truly loved. The man funded her surgery. And what's the first thing she did? Abandon the man. In the cases of the people who lost weight through working out, dieting, and tweaking their lifestyle, they get to maintain their new weight, but the ones that do the weight loss surgery, they get to fall back into obesity as most of them fail to adopt a lifestyle that maintains their newly gotten stature. The woman in this case fell back slowly into being fat, as the man later added. Her newly found admirers bolted, and there she was back where she left. 
Then she remembered her family and her lovely ex-husband. She tried to come back. I just know the man had a smirk on his face and silently thought, and where did that bring you? Back to me, in Thanos' voice. If the man was a simp before, he wasn't anymore. He rejected her, and when she took him to court to at least get custody of the kids, she lost the case. I do tell the men I discuss with to prioritize working out and keeping fit. I'm not fat shaming anyone here, but most of the men with these stories are sometimes also fat themselves. When you are fit yourself, you won't accept marrying an obese woman when they are better looking women out there. Do not give these fat women a chance when it is so obvious they wouldn't want to be with you if they weren't fat. You only accept the love you think you deserve. Thank you. That will be all for today on Latest Juice. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons as it gives the perfect motivation to keep creating contents like this for you. And also click the notification bell so you can be the first to know when I drop a new video. See you again soon. Cheers.